In this video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the equation of a trig function when the sketch is given. The quickest way to determine the equation of any trig graph is by inspection. But for that, you need to know the three mother graphs by heart. You need to know that both the sin and the cos graph have important coordinates every 90 degrees. The sin graph starts at 0, 0 and increases, where the cos graph starts at 1 and decreases. Those important points, of course, then are our turning points and x-intercepts. For the tan graph, we will focus on two important points. The first one is the coordinate exactly in the middle of our two asymptotes. For the mother graph, that is at 180 and 0. The second important point to remember is the 45 and 1 point. With these important coordinates, it will be easy to determine what transformations were applied to form the new graphs. Example 1. Determine the values of A and D. And here we are shown that this is a sin graph and we need to determine the amplitude as well as whether this graph moved up or down. It is useful to always start determining the A value because the A value shows us the amplitude of the graph. And the amplitude of the graph is the distance between the maximum of 1 and the minimum of minus 3 divided by 2. So in our example, we can say that the amplitude is that distance of 4 divided by 2, which will give us an A value of 2. This amplitude indicates that we can move 2 units down or 2 units up to find our new midline or resting position. This, of course, originally was our x-axis. So now we can see that this graph moved one unit down. Similarly, if you take into account the original mother graph, the y-intercept is at 0, 0. In our new graph, the y-intercept is at minus 1, which once again shows us that this graph moved down one unit, and therefore the d-value is minus 1. Example 2. Determine the equation of the given graph in the form y is equal to a cos x plus d. So at this time we are working with the cos graph and again I'm going to start off by determining the amplitude. The distance between the maximum of 4 and the minimum of 2 is 2. And when I hung off this, my amplitude is 1. But here it is important to realize that the curve has been reflected. If you think about the original mother graph, it is a decreasing function that turns and then increases. Where in the given graph, it first increases and then decreases. This means there was a reflection around the x-axis. And that is why the A value is not only 1, but minus 1. Next, we need to determine whether this graph moved up or down, the D value. For this, you can again choose to focus on one coordinate from the mother graph, and I'm going to choose the y-intercept again. The original y-intercept is at 1, which means after the reflection, the y-intercept should be at minus 1. But now the y-intercept is not at minus 1, but at 2, which means this graph moved 3 units up, and that means the d-value is plus 3. In the question, we were not asked to only determine a and d, but to determine the equation of the graph. So our final answer is y is equal to minus cos x plus 3. Example 3. Determine the values of a and d in the given sketch. And here we are working with the tan graph. A tan
tan graph does not have an amplitude. Therefore, we need to determine the A value in a different way. This time, focusing on our mother graph, I'm going to start determining the D value. For this, I'm going to focus on that point exactly in the middle of our two asymptotes, which usually is at 180 degrees and zero. On our given graph, however, that point exactly in the middle is at 180 degrees and 1, which means the whole graph moved up 1. Therefore, our D value is 1. To determine the A value, I'm going to start by focusing on my midline, which is now, of course, at 1 as the graph shifted up 1 along with our point of 45, 1, which means from the midline, it's one unit up. Having a look at our given graph, from the midline of 1, the 45 point is at 2, which means it is also up one unit. Therefore, the A value is the same as for the mother graph, and that means the A value is 1. In all three examples, we determined the equation of the graphs using inspection. You can, however, also choose to use algebra. For this, you will need to substitute coordinates into the equation. For example, in number three, we could choose to focus on the coordinate of zero and one which we can substitute into the place of x and y in the equation. So if we change the y value to 1 and the x value to 0, you can use your calculator to determine tan of 0, which is 0. And this means that the whole term of a times tan 0 will become 0. Therefore, if you solve d, d is 1. And now that we know the d value, we can substitute another coordinate to determine the a value. I'm going to choose to use the coordinate 45, 2. Therefore, my y value will become 2 and the x value will become 45 degrees. Tan of 45 is 1 which means we now have 2 is equal to a times 1 plus 1. Solving a, you will also get 1. This method of substituting in coordinates will also always work, but it can sometimes take a bit longer.